So Roblox has recently released an update allowing us to change our FPS on PC without having to use any third party software. This is such an amazing and great update and we've been waiting this forever but there are a few gotchas with this update. And you may have to change some of the code in your game to adapt with these changes. And this actually has to deal with the service called Run Service. And if you haven't messed with Run Service before, you're not experienced with it. Well, it's basically, it gives us a whole bunch of events and stuff so we can run code every frame. And basically, since we can up our FPS in the settings menu from the default 60, you know, this has always been a problem. Well, like, because uh, before we had the FPS unlocker from third party software, but now this is an even bigger issue uh, because we actually have it in our settings now for PC. But basically, there's these run service events that run at uh, different times. Uh, in our code, you know, heartbeat is at the end of the frame, render steps toward the beginning of the frame, etc. But basically, the point is, these run every frame. And if you're on 240 FPS, these run faster, uh, these events run faster on 240 FPS if you were just running on 60, the default. So if you're updating anything in your game using run service like part C frames, etc., this might be an issue the way you are setting it because your events might be running faster than you know what they should actually be running at so roblox has some code pieces for us to show us what good code is and bad code is for this update so i'm going to insert a part into my game anchor it and i'm going to go to the local script again and we are going to uh get run service and we're going to say post simulation connect function all right and then we are going to say uh, we actually need our part too. So in our game, so local we'll parts is equal to game dot workspace wait for child parts, and we're gonna say part dot c frame will be equal to uh, we're gonna say uh, times equals c frame dot angles, and then zero mouth that rad one zero, just like this. So basically, what this is saying is this will rotate the part on the y axis. Um, by one degree every frame at 60 Hertz right so this would base you know this would run 60 degrees every second because normally it would be running at 60 Hertz so going into our game we'll see it is actually rotating and it's at you know a good speed mind you I am on the default 60 FPS now let's change it to say hundred and twenty you'll notice it's going a little bit faster and let's just take it all the way to 240 you will see it is running a lot faster and this might be an issue unless there's some use cases where you'll want it to speed up depending on your FPS but I re don't really know why you would want to do that as you can see the part is rotating faster because depending on our FPS here it is rotating depending on the math.rad here and we don't want this because depending on our FPS, it's going to rotate based on our FPS. And we want it to be set at a certain speed all the time. And basically how we can do this is by using delta time in our run service events. So I'm also going to get another thing. I'm going to call it uh, degrees, degrees uh, per second. Or you could just copy the thing that Roblox has, which is this. And we're going to set that to 60, basically saying it's going to rotate as, on, uh, as if it were on 60 hertz. So then, in here, we're going to get delta time. And if you don't know what delta time is, is it basically is the time uh, between one frame and another frame being rendered. I covered a video on this previously. So it's a really small number, and it's the time between the one frame that is rendered and the next frame that's being rendered and if that's a bigger number that means it's taking longer and we're on a lower FPS but if it's a smaller number it means we're running on a higher FPS because frames are getting rendered faster so using this delta time we can say degrees per second in math.rad and we're then going to multiply it by uh, our delta time okay so going back into our game it is still spinning at our 60 uh, hertz speed 
And if I go to my settings and change this to 240, you will see I'm on 240 FPS now, but our part is still rotating at the normal speed, just like how we want it. And if you guys want to change this, you could change this to 240, and it is rotating as if we were on 240 FPS like the previous example. And that's just one use case of fixing this. There's many more use cases. So I'm going to say run service dot stepped connect function. And basically what I'm going to do is keep adding to the parts uh, Y axis. So parts dot position will be equal to part dot position plus vector three dot new and say like something like 0 0.050 just like this. So we keep adding onto the frames Y position uh, every frame. So I'm going to load in on the default 60 FPS and you'll see it's a little bit slower and if I change this to 240 it goes up faster. Again this is an issue and we would want to fix this so how do we fix it? Well we're going to use that same logic here so I'm going to say like local studs per second will be equal to let's say 10 and we're going to put in studs per set per second times and we then are going to get our delta time uh, one, uh, once again so delta time and then we're going to multiply it by delta time actually I think this should uh, be 0 0.05 just because 10 will be overkill and we can see it stays at a more consistent speed now the last example I have is a little bit more fun and it's going to have to use particle emitters all right, so I'm going to insert a particle emitter into this part. So now it has the particle emitter, and I'm just going to turn it off for right now. I'm going to go back to my local script, and then I'm going to get our particle emitter too. So particle emitter is equal to parts, wafer child, particle emitter. And then we're going to say run service dot render stepped connect function. And we're just going to say particle emitter and we're going to use the emit function and we're going to say 10. So basically emit just uh, actually I have a plugin so I can show you guys so when this is turned off I have a, a thing up here that says emit and I'm going to emit 10 like it would in game so basically emit is like a one time thing it's not enabled it goes how many particles at once so if this were you know running constantly uh, in render step well it would be you know maybe something like this uh, maybe we could up the speed a little bit more. But, you know, it would look maybe something like this, but a lot faster because I can't click that fast. So here is our particle. You know, it looks really good. Well, it's just, you know, it's still coming out really fast because we are on 60 frames. But we're going to change this to 240. Now, there's a little bit of a difference, but you can definitely tell there is a lot more particles compared uh, to the 60. And it just bugged out. <laughs> Now we're going to use that exact same logic. So we need the, the delta time once again, because that matters. And I'll show you why just a little bit. But I'm also going to say particles uh, per second. And I'm going to say like 50 or so. In here, put particles per second times delta time. Well, I'm actually, I was playing around with the values. This should probably be a higher number so we can actually see it. So maybe something like 300. So. Here are our particles once again, 60 FPS, changes to 240, and there is no difference, still consistent. Now I mentioned what delta time is at the beginning of this video, but I'm actually going to visualize it for you guys. And here we're going to print delta time to kind of better explain what I was saying earlier. Um, so if we go into our game, and open up our output because that's where it's being printed and I go to let me start out with 60 frames and we are going to see that it's a still small number you know 0 0.017 that's the number between every frame that is being rendered and I'm basically going to set my frames to 240 and clear everything and you'll see it's an even smaller number now this says like 0.0, .0 Wait, 0 0.003, 0 0.04, or 0, <laughs> I keep messing, 0 0.004, and whatever, it's a smaller number because now we are running at a higher FPS. Hopefully that makes sense. 
And yeah, guys, this was today's video. If you guys did learn something from this video or you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.